Hello and welcome to this module on the truth about sugar. So the first thing we need to know is that there are different types of sugars widely available to us. Number one, naturally occurring sugars found in fruit, vegetables and dairy products. And then what's called free sugars, which are present in honey, fruit, juices and syrups and sugar, which has been added to an existing product. Sugar is classed as a simple carbohydrate. And what this means is these forms of carbohydrate are broken down quickly by the body for energy release whether they come from natural or free sources. However, refined and added sugars lack the nutritional value of their natural counterparts. As our body has the ability to metabolize carbohydrates to glucose for energy, we do not need to consume any additional sugary or sugar added foods, although we do. Our bodies metabolize all carbohydrate forms and convert them into glucose for energy. If we have excess glucose in our bodies that we don't need for energy, a process begins to convert this to glycogen, which is then stored in the form of glucose in the body. We'll go into more detail on this in future macronutrient modules. So what happens if we have too much or too little sugar? Enjoying some sweet foods in moderation, like with everything, is not harmful to health, but balance is the key. Blood sugar fluctuations can be dangerous. Insulin plays a huge role in the regulation of glucose in our bodies, and it's important to know about this. Too little sugar in your blood can lead to hypoglycemia. Too much sugar in your blood risks hyperglycemia and diabetes. Now, a quick page on insulin. Insulin is produced in your pancreas. It's a hormone that basically transports sugar, glucose, from your blood into cells so it can be used as energy. If there's extra glucose that we do not need for energy, then insulin tells muscles and the liver to bring it inside for storage. We release insulin in proportion to carbohydrates. Thus, more glucose usually means more insulin, which eventually means more glycogen storage in the liver. Diabetes occurs when the body cannot use insulin properly or doesn't make enough insulin. Type 1 diabetes, the body can't make insulin, so it must be injected to control blood glucose levels. Insulin resistance is when the cells in your muscles, fat and liver don't respond well to insulin and cannot easily take glucose from the blood. So then type 2 diabetes, the body has become resistant to the effects of insulin. Therefore, the body overproduces insulin to keep blood glucose levels normal. With this, after many years of overproduction, the insulin producing cells in your pancreas burn out. This can be helped with lifestyle changes. Now, hyperglycemia is the term used when there are high levels of sugar in the blood. This occurs when the body does not produce or use enough insulin. This is a leading indicator of diabetes. Hypoglycemia is the term given to when there are lower amounts of sugar in the blood than normal. This can happen when the body produces too much insulin. Hyperglycemia can occur without diabetes in both adults and children. Contributing factors to this include other health issues, obesity, hereditary diabetes, certain types of stomach surgery and pre-diabetes. So why is there so much sugar? Now, the taste of something sweet has almost a universal appeal. I know some are savoury, but most of us are on sweet. I mean, can you say you don't like something sweet? Sugar releases dopamine, which is related to the reward and motivation part of the brain. It induces a pleasant state, which is why most people can overlook the potential repercussions of overindulging in sugar, such as weight gain, blood sugar levels and heart disease. Sugar is added to processed foods to make them more appetizing. It's also added to uh, processed food to uh, basically to baked goods, to colour and texture, acts as a preservative, it helps fermentation, can be used as a bulking agent and can balance the acidity as well as the fact that, you know, these producers do know that we are generally hooked on sugar. When checking food labels, what should you be looking for? Sugar can go by a lot of different names depending on its source and how it was processed or manufactured. 56 types at my last count, and that's including all the different types from generally from the US, other countries where the food is imported into the UK. This can make it more difficult to identify them when reading ingredients list on labels. Here are some of the names you should look out for. Words ending in O's, so things like dextrose, fructose, maltose and glucose, cane sugar syrup, corn sweeteners and high fructose corn syrup, concentrated fruit juice, honey, maple and molasses are just to name a few of them. Now, sugar in your body. In relation to sugar, your body is on a constant state of alert when it comes to regulating the blood sugar levels. So the more you challenge it by making unwise food choices, the more stress you're going to put it under. So 
stabilizing your blood sugar levels just takes a little bit of determination and some conscious decision making to lower the amounts of sugar in your diet. So that's it for this slide. Thank you very much for listening and I shall see you in the next one.